Hello! Today I want to make samosa. It's very popular snack. And these are all ingredients I'm using for today. And for the dough, uh, it is three cups of all-purpose flour. And this is vegetable shortening, butter flavor vegetable shortening. It is uh, six tablespoon and six tablespoon yogurt, six tablespoon suji or cream of wheat or semolina, and one and a half teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoon baking powder and this is kalonji uh, it's called nigella too and uh, one teaspoon and one teaspoon ajwain karam seeds and I already made the dough okay and for the filling I fry one uh, medium onion and I cut in pieces one medium onion and one jalapeno pepper I cut in little pieces and this is suki methi or fenugreek leaves this, this it was dry but I washed it because it has some dust inside and this is coriander seeds, cumin seeds and crushed red pepper I fry this on the fine pan little bit and then I grind it so this is one teaspoon and one teaspoon turmeric powder and one teaspoon uh, red chili powder and this is two large potatoes and I already put one teaspoon salt on it uh, I boil those and I slice it and then when I mix it they will mix together so um, this dough is already done I am going to make this uh, this filling I want to put this all together this is Suki methi fenugreek leaves and this is jalapeno pepper fry onion one fry onion Turmeric powder, one teaspoon. Crushed red pepper. Mm. Red chili powder, one teaspoon. And one medium onion. And this is the coriander seeds. Crushed red pepper and cumin seeds ground together. So I want to mix this together very well and then I'll make the balls of the dough and roll it and make samosa. So see you in a little bit. Now it's time to filling the samosa. And I already made the dough. I use less than half cup of water. And this dough is not too hard, not too soft, but it's easy to handle. And I made already made some samosas over here. And I mix some flour in water, paste. And I, I already rolled the dough. I put the wet towel on top of it. And I roll this and cut in half. And now I'm going to make samosa filling. So I use very little uh, this paste because if you put more, they won't be much crispy. So 
Okay. Use just little and push this corner. Yeah. And now is I put one teaspoon and push it down a little bit and use very little paste. Don't put too much, they will wet. I like a small samosas and stand up like that <coughs> very little paste over here this dough is soft so you can push with the with, without the paste with your fingers and now hold in what your hand don't fill too much yeah very little paste push it down so when you fry this they will be crispier one more Those, those parts are crispy so it's good and when you make this when you are done just leave it out for a while so they dry when they get dry so they will be more crispy okay the next step for frying Now it's time to fry the samosa and you need to fry these on very low heat so they will be crispier. Uh, this is my best tool. I like this. It's easy to fill it. It's gonna take a while to fry this because uh, they need to fry on the very low heat so they become crispy. And I put uh, yogurt in that dough because the yogurt already have some water in there. So that's why I use very less water when I make dough. Okay, uh, my samosas are done. Uh, I put half over here next batch. And this badge is done and please try my recipe this is very good and those are very crispy samosa and uh, now I'm gonna take these out the one which are done and Thanks for watching my video uh, and try my recipe. Bye-bye.